animator But by day he makes hay He's the virtual instigator Of cartoon fun he loves it And here is how he does it First you take a pencil, then draw a picture, then draw 20,000. That's how they made cartoons in the days of old. Dip your brush into the rainbow, paint those pictures, make that film glow. That's how they made cartoons and the ticket sold. Come and join us, young and old, for the fabulous Fleischer Folio. If you flip your wig, dance a jig, remember we told you so. Watch them if you choose to, yellow, reds, and blues too. Don't make them like they used to. It's the fabulous Fleischer Folio. Seen any good cartoons lately? I'm Leslie Cabarga. Welcome to the fabulous Fleischer Folio. This is the show where we'll take you back to the 1930s when cartoons were really cartoons. What do Betty Boop, Popeye the Sailor, and Superman have in common? Well, they were all made into animated cartoons in the 1930s by Max and Dave Fleischer, who for over 25 years made the craziest, zaniest cartoons ever created. In the 1920s, they began with Coco the Clown and Out of the Inkwell. But the most enduring stars, Popeye and Betty Boop, were so popular in their day that they were made into all sorts of products, such as coloring books and soap, candy bars, drinking mugs, and some of them are still being made today. But there were many Fleischer cartoons which featured human and animal characters who appeared in only one cartoon. These are the color classic cartoons which we're going to show you on the fabulous Fleischer folio. You know, everyone knows Technicolor, but have you ever heard of Cinecolor? Well, in the 1930s, when color was still a novelty, the Fleischers made some of their most beautiful cartoons in Cinecolor. What did it look like? Well, everything was either red or green, or combinations of both. You'll see this in our last cartoon, Song of the Birds. And now, what are we waiting for? Play, play! Before it's too late, stop heading for danger! Wait! Better play safe! Beware! Take care! And always prepare to stop, look, and listen when you get up in the morning. Don't you dare forget the warning when you play.
Edric, take this note to Mrs. Catfish. Yes, ma'am. Bye bye. Bye bye. Junior's gonna get it. Junior's gonna get it. Ha, 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 ha. 
cry should be in the schoolroom. My, my, put down that cigarette. You ain't a good up by a mighty yet. Small fry, dancing for a penny. Small fry, come up, come me. My, my, just listen here to me. You ain't the biggest catfish in the deep blue sea. You practice pecking all day long to some old radio song. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You better listen to your more and someday practice the law. And then you'll be a real success. Yes. Small fry. That's the neighbor's daughter. Small fry. Stay in water. Oh, me, oh, my, small fry. You got your feet all soaked and wet. You'll be the death of me, yeah. Oh, me. Oh, my. Oh, Thank you. 
one for your life. Danger. Public hands enemy number one at large. Do you want to be his next victim? Then slam! <laughs> Look like blue clouds. 
stars in the sky Keep her going Keep her going
settled in 1769 and enjoyed a rather quiet existence till early in 1848 when gold was discovered. Towns sprang up overnight. The news spread rapidly and in 1849 over 100,000 people migrated into the Sunshine State. Some made the hazardous trip moving swiftly over the plains in covered wagons. Others took the long journey in sailing vessels, going down the coast of South America around Cape Horn. Soon a railroad was built, linking the east and the west. Today, we streak across the continent in such luxurious streamlined trains as the Chief. California is famous for her giant redwood trees. Some so huge that automobiles can be driven right through them. Older than the pyramids, some of these giant redwoods are several hundred feet high and... Hold on there. What kind of a redwood is this? I'm anemic. <laughs> There's another rather unusual forest near Calistoga. The highest and lowest points in the United States are only 50 miles apart, and both in California. Mount Whitney, 14,495 feet above sea level. And the lowest point, Death Valley, a burning, desolate wasteland with no signs of life whatsoever. In California, it's only a short trip from the winter sports in the mountains to the summer sports at the seashore. Each year, the swallows fly back to this little mission at Capistrano. As a matter of fact, I think I hear them winging their way in right now. 
California is a rich oil country, and numerous oil wells are located right on the city streets. Fill her up. Okay, boss. Hollywood is the capital city of the motion picture industry. Here we have the entrance to the huge Paramount Studio. I think we're just in time to catch a few stars on their way to work. Boring, Miss Labora. Mister, can I have your autograph, Mister? Huh, Mister? Huh? Movie stars often travel incognito through the streets of Hollywood to avoid crowds and autograph hunters. Grauman's Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard is famous for the footprints of celebrities that are embedded in its concrete sidewalk. <laughs> California's numerous orange groves are noted the world over for the exceptionally large, juicy oranges that are... Hey, what on earth is this fellow doing? This is the third Florida agent we caught this week. <laughs> Speaking of oranges, <clears throat> aren't you going to join us in singing that popular song of the Golden State? California, here I come. Just follow the bouncing citrus. California, here I come. Right back where I started from. Better than that? Come on now, let's hear everybody sing. Become giants in their efforts to reach nearer the sun that so generously shares its rays with the mountains, rivers, lakes, and cities of this beautiful sunshine state. Thank you.
This is Leslie Cabarga. Until next time. First you take a pencil, then draw a picture, then draw 20,000. That's how they made cartoons in the days of old. Dip your brush into the rainbow, paint those pictures, make that film glow. That's how they made cartoons and the tickets sold. Come and join us, young and old, for the fabulous Fleischer Folio. If you flip your wig, dance a jig, remember we told you so. Watch them if you choose to, yellow, reds, and blues too. They don't make them like they used to. It's the fabulous Fleischer Folio.